So the bottom line was uh, that I paid uh, twice, uh, twice 177 US dollars for this flight. I never did get a refund from Valeris. Maybe that's what you get when you book with the cheapest airline. Ah, that feels better. Let's carry on. Okay, now that you've seen it, you're probably thinking to yourself, well, heck, this is not much of a room. It's uh, it's small, it's uh, awkward, it's, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's all of that, but uh, it's uh, right in the center, and it was good enough for me. If it's good enough for me, no, it doesn't necessarily have to be good enough for you, but it was good enough for me. Coffee, yes, there was a coffee story at this hotel. There always is a coffee story. <laughs> Hotel Central, and that is located just on the other side of the road to the ADO bus station. ADO is a huge company, and uh, they their buses go everywhere. Tomorrow I'm moving on to Oaxaca, but I'm not taking a bus because that's uh, 12 or 14 hours. I'm going to fly. Those are the uh, modern buses they have here. Those modern buses, as I said in a previous vlog, are called Ba I Ben. Go and come. You simply tap your transit card, which you can buy at an OXO convenience store, and you're ready to go. And I was ready to go on this Saturday, February 17th, 2024. Right from the ADO station to the airport, so it cost me nothing, so to speak. In front of the ADO station, it's reassuring to find this uh, sign giving information about getting to the airport. It was a relaxed 32-minute trip on a modern bus to take me to Merida International Airport, Merida. Throughout my two-week stay in Merida, I struggled to pronounce it correctly. It's Merida, not Merida as I thought it was. I said it was a relaxed trip, but on second thought, it probably wasn't. I was probably still ruminating over the error I made in my booking. All of my bookings I did through booking.com, uh, primarily because I had um, attained what they call a genius level, which gave me a cheaper price because I'd made a fair number of bookings. Well, in this instance, I was anything but a genius. What's the opposite to a genius? On booking.com, I somehow booked a, a flight with Volaris, that's a discount airline, for March 16th. March 16th, that's crazy. I was traveling on February 17th. So two errors, the month was, was wrong and the date was, was wrong. This kind of makes me think that uh, some type of game's being played here. I didn't make those mistakes. So when you call Amsterdam to try and rectify the problem with booking.com, they say, go talk to the airline. When you go to the airline, Valaris, they say, go talk to booking.com. It quickly became evident to me that I wasn't going to get any resolution for the next day, so I had to buy another ticket. I didn't go with booking.com. This time I went with Sky 2. Absolutely watched like a hawk, like a hawk, to get a trip on February the 17th, Saturday, February the 17th, from Merida to Oaxaca, and that's where I got. So the bottom line was uh, that I paid uh, twice, uh, twice 177 US dollars for this flight. I never did get a refund from Valeris. Maybe that's what you get when you book with the cheapest airline. I think the best advice when it comes to booking uh, airlines is to deal with the airline directly. Um, but I think Valeris was one of those airlines where you couldn't even book directly. So after that fiasco, let's just have a short pause and have a musical interlude uh, just to get the blood pressure down. Ah! That 
feels better. Let's carry on. I stayed in Oaxaca for two weeks and it didn't rain during those two weeks except for the date of the arrival. Being hardwired not to spend money on taxis, knowing that there were no public buses that actually came to the airport, and encouraged by a fellow traveler from Germany, we took the 15-minute walk to Highway 175 to catch a bus. And yes, it was raining during most of that walk, but as I said, that's the only rain I encountered. That was it. Now, having just bad-mouthed uh, Booking.com, I, I continued to use Booking.com throughout the rest of my trip because it was just convenient. Um, and I found my accommodations in Oaxaca through Booking.com, and it was a Hotel Nacional. Now, I don't know about you, but uh, when I saw this uh, photo of the Hotel Nacional, I just couldn't resist staying here. That is one heck of a nice photo. It is so authentic of what you would expect in downtown Oaxaca. And my room turned out to be the last one up on the third floor where the umbrellas are on top of the roof. I really enjoyed the air-conditioned rooms in uh, the two hotels I stayed at in Merida. Uh, that was no longer the case here in Oaxaca, neither in Antigua, Guatemala, because uh, at that price range, you don't get air conditioning. I had to live without it, and that was a bit of a bind, I must admit. I guess the most exciting thing was that uh, the location was unbeatable. You were just across the street from the Mercado Bente de Noviembre, a huge food market. And just the next block is the Mercado Benito Juarez. So two of the best markets in Oaxaca, just across the street. You can't beat that. And just to the north, the Zocalo, the beautiful Plaza de la Constitución. The ultimate place to hang out in the evening in Oaxaca to experience the vibes of this exciting city. You can see from this street view exactly how close I was to the El Mercado, Bente de Noviembre, just across the street. How good does it get? I started off by booking for one week and... Uh, as you can see, it cost me 290 Canadian dollars plus 55 dollars in taxes and fees. I got that cheaper price because, as I said earlier, I attained a genius discount. Oh boy, genius discount. Let's see how that turned out. Well, it turned out okay because that adds up to 345 dollars for seven nights, and on my visa, I was charged 353, so that's not too bad. That worked out to 50 dollars Canadian for one night. I could live with that. Now this was a patio uh, right next to my room, room number 310. This is a good place to do my, uh, my Spanish homework and hang out, but it was also a disadvantage because this is where people would hang around in the evening and talk loudly and so on. But I survived because I don't go to bed until one o'clock anyway, so it was okay. And I did get fresh air up there. It's the only place in the hotel where you got fresh air. And by the way, the red building that peeks out across the street is the famous El Mercado de Bente Noviembre.
Now, next to my bed, plugged in, is my CPAP, my CPAP. I have sleep apnea, which is, well, you snore, and it's not good for your health. So you have to have a CPAP to overcome that problem. That CPAP's been in India. It's been all over the world. Boy, that step in and out of the bathroom was a challenge, especially during the times I had to get up during the night. By the way, if you saw vlog number 14 on La Casita Spanish School, you'll realize how fixated I am on coffee. At the Hotel Nacional, they promised a free coffee, and there was in the lobby for the first four days. After that, it was broken down and it was never fixed for the rest of the two weeks. Okay, now that you've seen it, you're probably thinking to yourself, well, heck, this is not much of a room. It's uh, it's small, it's uh, awkward, it's, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's all of that, but uh, it's uh, right in the center, and it was good enough for me. If it's good enough for me, no, it doesn't necessarily have to be good enough for you, but it was good enough for me. Thank you for watching.